Good morning. It is Tuesday morning. I thought I'd do another week in the life of a fashion student weekly vlog because it's the week before all my assignments are due, so it's crunch time. There's a lot of stuff happening. One of my friends recently moved to Thornbury, so we're gonna go have coffee this morning. I usually ride my bike, but because it's meant to be stormy today, so we're gonna tram together and get a coffee. Okay, really quick. Oh, TT. No skin makeup, because I'm giving my skin a break at the moment when I go to uni, so non-work days, trying to do no face makeup. Uh, I've got on a little tank, which I don't think the company makes these anymore, but it's one of my favorites. My people tree strip pants, which I recently just washed and they feel a lot smaller than I remember. Anyway, and some sneakers. Let's go get that coffee. I need some coffee. <laughs> And I'm at home and many a thing went wrong today. So we started an assessment in the morning. It was all going fine and then I mocked it up. This was for pattern making and I mocked up the pattern and I'd just done it completely wrong. <laughs> I have no idea how to fix it. Gonna have to do some research to figure that out. And then we went to have the free lunch which is usually on a Tuesday. And there was no free lunch. So we went to Brewer Street, which is like right near our uni, and they do really good food. And I had this mushroom thing, and then we did an assessment, and it's on the computers. So I was doing that, and I didn't know how to do some things. So I was just like, mm. and feeling sorry for myself. But I got it in, so that was good. And then I went to do some sewing on my jacket that I did this really cool lining for yesterday that I painted. And I've completely cut the wrong pattern piece. I have no idea how that happened, but I'm gonna have to recut it at home and because I'd messed up that bit, I couldn't do any of the sewing I planned. So I just came home and Domino's was having 50% off for some uni students on the Uni Days website this week. So this has happened. Yes, I bought three pizzas. I'm gonna be eating Domino's for the next like four days. <laughs> I have my design class, so gonna be doing lots of like computery bits, trying to get my portfolio and stuff ready for my presentation next week. Today I wanted to wear something cozy, so this is my solution. Since it's gonna be like 20 degrees, I decided the solution was to wear denim shorts and sneakers to keep cool and then a cozy jumper on top. So I thought I'd quickly show you what I'm packing today. I'm bringing my laptop because I need to do some development photos and printing them out and sorting them like that. Got a charger because this is not charged. My keys and stuff, my bullet journal with a to-do list and I have my pattern making square in case I messed up some other things that I messed up yesterday which I need this fabric for because I need to recut a piece that was the wrong size. Uh, this is for my labels and care labels and I want to do it on the laser cutter if I can book an appointment. They've been so booked up this week. So hopefully I can get one in before the due date. This is my jacket and then this is the lining that I finished yesterday. I just need to attach the facings. So it kind of looks like the inside of a jacket, right? It's got sleeves. This is the hand painted one. It's looking good. I'm getting quite excited about that. This is all my tools and toolbox, my development journal, and my pattern. Other stuff I nearly forgot. Keep cup, because it's a busy day, and I think I'm gonna treat myself to a coffee, drink bottle, leftover Domino's pizza for lunch. Told you I'd eat it for four days, and my pencil case. Okay, wow, it fitted all in the bag, and I only have to carry that. So much better than the past three days, because I've had this entirely full bag and this entirely full bag, so that'd be good. I nearly forgot the entire back of my jacket, so quickly gonna put that in here. <laughs> vlog is out of focus. I think my camera is a bit stuffed. Uh, I nearly finished my jacket. 
I reckon a couple of hours tomorrow and I'll be able to like finish it off which will be cool. I also got home to exciting mail. I'd ordered some digital print samples for my design assignment so I thought I'd open them up. So I got them done in like an organic cotton and Frankie and Swiss use all natural dyes. Oh they're looking pretty cute. That's the like mountain print design that I have. This one is I think this one's on the organic cotton. Oh, that's cute. And then this is my like painted one, which I didn't think would turn out amazingly. And I was correct. So luckily I kind of eliminated this from my collection because I decided I had too many fabric prints. But this one's looking really cool. I'm really happy with that one. Maybe for a bit of context, I'll show you the actual designs. So I've decided to call my collection Open Horizons. So yesterday I was working on like my layouts for things. Obviously I want to do a bit of my artist inspiration here in the presentation. This is the start of a mood board with my colors but need to put a lot of work into that one. Started my customer profile. It's looking cute. Uh, illustrations still need to be done. But my tech drawings are on here and they're looking pretty cute. So I've got a little jacket, a knit dress, a top that goes over this dress here. Uh, this is the t-shirt, which is kind of cute. This is the skirt that that print will be out of. So that's it in the flesh. Pretty cool to see it. It's so exciting. And then a pant and a top. This is all inspired by the artist Rita Angus, so I'll put a little bit more about her in the presentation. These are my fabrics. I need to scan my one that just arrived and put it in here too. And then these are my fabric techniques. So this one I laser cut and I've got an organza behind it. Uh, this one I've overlocked it's for my pants. Uh, this is a little knit sample that I will stick the proper thing on my board too and reference page. So it's coming together, it's due next week, so there's still a lot to do, as you can see by the blank pages I talked about, but I don't know, I'm feeling good about it. If you wanna see the end result, I'll probably post it on Instagram. Um, I'm trying to post more about like my fashion school experience. I've got little saved stories there. <laughs> off to work and then gonna do some groceries I think and I need to print some stuff at uni too for my assignments it's really rainy today if you can hear that noise outside which is not ideal but I'll grab my umbrella out my good old blunt and I better get going because I don't want to be late for work <laughs> so yeah I filmed yesterday before work and then I finished work and I printed out my pictures of my jacket for my development journal. What else did I do? Oh, I went to the groceries and yeah, I came home and then I was watching TV on the couch and fell asleep at 8.30. <laughs> if you're at uni, you know that feels when it gets to the end of the semester and you've just been like going, going, going and it's like the last two weeks now and I'm exhausted. So I think I needed that. I also slept for 11 hours. So I'm feeling quite refreshed I think which is good because I've got a lot to do today. I've just been sitting here and watching Alan's wardrobe clear out. It's on private at the moment so I got a sneak peek. I'm like this much through but it, I'm really enjoying it and there's like a point in here somewhere. So this is her wardrobe. This is my wardrobe. She's taken over my wardrobe. Look at that face. She's so sneaky and smug about it. I understand because I'm in Australia at the moment, so I'm not exactly using my wardrobe, but there's still that part of me that's like, my wardrobe, why are you stealing it? So I'm just doing that while I stick my photos in my development journal that I went to uni to print out. So I've just got photos of things like, oh, I cut this piece too small, so I recut it, and then it was still pulling, so I fixed it. Um, and like, my testing for my painting um this was my toile so it was like the practice one 
um, and you can see I changed a few things and there was a few issues with it like the lapel was a bit small and a bit pulley and the shoulders weren't great like if you can see here it was really bobbly so I did improve it as you can see here it's still not like perfect I've got some like testing for my finishing this is the one I ended up doing in the practice 12 and then this is the one I used in my real one and I really like it I don't know that I've shown this in a vlog but I was doing like research of different designers and things this was some magazine research just seeing what jackets I liked then I decided I want to go on a theme of oceans because I love I love the ocean the design for my um, lining was inspired by like a sound wave of an ocean fabric samples this was my selected one it almost looks a little bit like denim -y, so I quite liked that I was originally gonna get my lining printed but ran out of money I think I said that before that's my mood board so that was the design I have to update this tech because I have made a couple of changes um, and I still need to choose between the two buttons so I've got one that's kind of reminds me of like a little power shell and then this one's like a white shell yeah gonna finish sticking these in and then there's a whole lot of other things to do I was working on this pattern making challenge thing and I can't get it to work so I'm giving up for now <laughs> and I'm gonna try on some different outfits with my jacket and see what I want to photo shoot it with Every day I'm and realized I never really finished it I kind of trailed off vlogging towards the end because it got really stressful between like work things happening and getting all my assignments in so hopefully it kind of makes sense and gives you a glimpse into the life of what hand and make is like for a fashion student if you did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe and yeah we'll see you in the next one bye